Hi, welcome to Fortune's Business of Green. I'm Olivia Zaleski coming to you this week from the GreenBuild International Conference and Expo in Boston, Massachusetts. Here, environmental innovators are gathering to discuss the latest in energy saving technology and green building materials. The neat thing about this movement is, and what you see here at GreenBuild is, it's not about environmentalists telling business people what they have to do. It's about a collaborative approach to finding real ways to make this earth a better place. It's hard to believe that buildings contribute to a staggering 39% of U.S. carbon emissions. But these new technologies, scientific breakthroughs, and products are clearing the air. So clearly this place is packed. There are a lot of people around. Why do you think so many people are interested in GreenBuild right now? You know, the growth in this conference has been unbelievable. Year over year, it's grown 30 40%. And I think there's been so much interest in green generally, and this conference seems to be the event that draws people together. You gotta have meetings, technical discussions, and conferences where you figure out, you know, is this really a green technology? Is this the best way to design a green home? And then see firsthand what's going on on the floor here with all see these the great products things. and see the newest things. So Lutron has okay. this really sophisticated okay. interface that lets you control the amount of light coming out of the fixtures okay. based on how much daylight might be coming into the space, based on your mood, how much light you want. So they designed these shades to allow in a certain percentage of the light, and then they would move them up and down based on where the sun is in the sky. In the New York Times building, they used a system like this, and they literally documented 70% lighting savings. So you take this stuff, you just stack it up on the, on the job site, just like Legos. You build it up so you might have an eight foot high or a 10 foot high wall. Just like in conventional construction, you might build a form and pour the form full of okay. concrete. Here you don't strip anything away. This, this polystyrene stays in place as your form. As your insulation too. Exactly. You know, the green is the one sector of the economy that really has not been as affected by the downturn. There's this amazing green lining effect going on. Because of the energy efficiency benefits, the interest in climate change, all these things coming up, people are realizing the one sector that is not going to get dropped, that's going to continue to be invested in, is the green sector. 